The United States government says that two men, a Chinese national and a Canadian, have teamed up together to sell Tesla's secret battery information to the highest bidder. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. This is a little bit reminiscent of the case where a former Tesla staff member left Tesla, went to China and sold Tesla secrets to x -Punk. And he was actually convicted for doing this. Well, now a Canadian and Chinese man are accused of stealing Tesla secrets and then advertising them online. Two men, one Canadian and one Chinese national, are accused by the US government of stealing Tesla's battery making technology and attempting to sell it through online advertisements. Now, apparently the Canadian man who was residing in China uh, was actually apprehended in New York this week for trying to sell Tesla's trade secrets to undercover law enforcement officers. His business associate at Chinese National unfortunately remains at large and they haven't caught him. The accused, Klaus Plugbill, 58 was the individual who met with officers in Long Island this week. Now he, along with his partner, Yi Long Xiao, established a company in China, later expanding with offices in Canada, Germany, and Brazil. Their operation allegedly involved utilizing stolen information from American companies, particularly Tesla, to facilitate the production of batteries for electric vehicles. The two men are believed to have obtained the information during their employment with a with a Canadian manufacturer specializing in automated precision dispensing pumps and battery assembly lines. Although the Justice Department has not disclosed the company's name, nor has it identified the automaker involved, the reality is here we know that including the acquisition of the manufacturer by the automaker in 2019, the company was actually Highbar Systems and Tesla. So basically these staff worked for Highbar Systems and Tesla, and then they've left those two companies and tried to sell everything they could um, to the highest bidder. And yeah, they were found advertising them to, or trying to sell these secrets to Chinese companies, which it appears they have successfully done so. The Justice Department claims that Plug Veal and Xiao not only established their company using confidential secrets, which Tesla had invested at least $13 million in developing, but also actively sought additional original drawings to replicate. Authorities claim that the men knew what they were doing was illegal because in 2020, Plug Beal emailed a series of drawings to a gear manufacturer to produce parts. In the message, he wrote that the information was confidential and the drawings were identical to those created by Tesla, with the exception of the name of the company that owned them and the drawing identification number, which had simply been reversed. Ironically, the men also gave investigators a helping hand when their company ran ads online stating, are you looking for a victim company one, as in Tesla metering pumps and spare parts? Look no further. So these idiots have gone and actually advertised the fact that they were sharing secrets about Tesla's parts and how to uh, copy them online. That led undercover FBI agents to attend a trade show for the packaging and processing industries in September of 2023. There, they encountered Xiao and posed as buyers interested in setting up a battery assembly line. They were provided with Plug Beal's email address and received a technical document containing Tesla's proprietary information, falsely presented as their own. Subsequently, authorities arranged a meeting with Plug Beal and apprehended him, or basically arrested him. This blatant theft of advanced trade secrets relating to battery components and assembly blunts America's technological edge, said the Justice Department, who will hold accountable those who would try to cheat our country of its economic potential and threaten our national security, said Assistant Attorney General Matthew Olson of the Justice Department's National Security Division. Now, Plug Bill will face 10 years in prison, but unfortunately, the Chinese government doesn't seem all that interested in helping the American government find the Chinese national Xiao in order to bring him to justice. Now, I think that's probably unsurprising. And I'm going to guess that if the roles were reversed, America probably wouldn't be all that interested in helping China either. But either way, it's pretty disappointing to see this continue to happen. People seem to continually be interested in trying to steal and sell Tesla's secrets and their proprietary 
information, which is obviously costing a lot of time and effort. Guys, what are your thoughts about this? Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.